Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 things you didn't know the meaning of. We see thousands of things every day, but there are some things we just look past and don't realize. But have you ever stopped and thought, what does that do or what's the meaning of that? Well, there are some amazing meanings behind objects which will blow your mind. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and comment done for a shout out at the end of our next video. Coming in at number 10, we have coins on graves. When you go to a graveyard to see a loved one who's passed away, you'll always see a few things. There are graves, sometimes a church, but also another thing which leads to many questions. On top of some gravestones are coins. People are often confused about these and sometimes pick them up thinking they've been left there by accident. But if you do see these on top of a gravestone, you should not touch them. That is because these coins have a very special meaning behind them. The coins mean that whoever's buried there is a soldier who passed away in action. A penny on a headstone simply means you visited. A nickel means you attended boot camp or training with whoever's buried there. A dime means you were in the same service as them, but in a different platoon. And a quarter is left by a service member who was with the person as they passed away. So now when you see these coins, you'll know what they mean. It may seem harmless, but it can be very disrespectful if you move them. So don't. Next up is keyboard bumps. Today we can all type super fast on keyboards, but back when computers were introduced and replaced typewriters, people typed very slowly. The reason for this was because people didn't know where to place their hands on keyboards. Try typing your name with your eyes closed and your hands will probably know where to go. But this was simply not the case back then. So to help people position their hands, these bumps were added. You're supposed to rest your left finger on the F bump and your right on the J bump. This will provide optimum positioning for your fingers to type fast. This was mainly for secretaries and people who did jobs which involve a lot of typing, but since then we've moved on from those days and people know how to touch type in way more effective methods. Despite this, they keep these bumps as a traditional design feature. It would be weird if they weren't there, right? Although I'm pretty sure we could all get by without these bumps. Still, that's why you always get those odd bits of plastic on the F and J keys. Next up is cables. Cables, they're everywhere nowadays. Now that we have things like computers and TVs and all that good stuff, we need cables to charge them or plug them in. But have you ever noticed something odd about cables? When you picture a cable, it's just one long wire, right? But what about that plastic bump in so many cables? Believe it or not, these bumps have a name. They're called a ferret bead or a choke. What it does is bounce electromagnetic waves. It sounds complicated, but it's not too hard to understand. Without these cable bumps, all of our technology would interfere. And all you would ever see is static on all your screens. The cable bumps mean this doesn't happen when your phone, laptop, and whatever else you got is all in the same place. It's amazing that one tiny plastic bump can do all that, but it really works. And the fact that some cables don't have them is the reason there's no outlets on airplanes. Otherwise, one cable could interfere with the plane, which obviously would not be good news. Next up is Blue Side of Eraser. This is one of the biggest schoolyard myths of all time. Everyone likely used to say the blue side of the eraser had a special purpose as a kid. And that purpose would be that the blue side was for rubbing out ink, while the pink side was for pencil. But this is a massive lie, as you would know if you ever tried this out. Which I'm sure we all did as kids, be honest. Anyway, the real purpose for the blue side of the eraser is not this useful, but it's still useful to a point. If you feel the blue side, it's a different texture than the pink side. The pink side is far softer than the blue side. And that's because the blue side is to remove pencil from heavy weights of paper or harder surfaces. The blue side would rip paper if you tried to rub it, while the pink side would rip if you tried to rub it on something hard. This is mainly used on harder materials and construction, but you can still use the blue side at school. Sorry guys, there's still no way- Sorry guys, there's still no way to rub out your bad grades in pen. Tip X is the next best thing, but it's just not good enough sometimes. Coming up next is wine bottle indentations. Whenever you're drinking a bottle of vino or whatever else comes in a glass bottle, you'll often notice one thing. If you check the bottom of the bottle, more times than not, there'll be some kind of indentation. That is where the bottle goes up as if it's been pushed inwards. These indentations are called punts, and there's two reasons why they exist. The first is that in the old days when wine bottles were made, the glass would be melted down and then cut off to make the wine bottles. While the glass was still hot, steam would be blown up into the bottle which would stop it being sharp at the bottom. But but that's not the modern or the only meaning behind these indentations. The modern use is to keep the cork on tight. This means the wine will stay carbonated if it's a sparkling wine like champagne, and it, and it will also provide air pressure to keep it fizzy for a long time. This is also the case with soda cans, as they need to keep fizzy too. Nope, they weren't trying to fill it with less liquid to save money. Believe it or not, these indentations are actually to help you. Next up is disc under bottle lid. 
How many times have you been drinking a bottle of cola or Sprite and seen that disc on the bottom of your bottle cap? If you ever get bored and pry one out, you'll see the bottle cap still fits onto your bottle just fine. So, what could be the point of them if your bottle still closes with it removed? Well, there's a very clear purpose for these discs, which are essential in most drinks. The point of these is to keep everything in the bottle, and I mean everything. Sure, liquid won't come out of the bottle without one of these things. But what will is carbonation, and that's why bottles have these discs. If you want your drink to stay fizzy, then you're gonna need one of these. This is like the bottle version of those indentations on wine bottles and cans that we looked at earlier. They may seem like something small we just take for granted, but really, they're very useful. Next up is utility blades. Utility blades are super useful, however, many people don't use them right. Or at least, they don't use them to their maximum amount of usefulness. We all know you move utility blades up, but this isn't just so that you can get a longer blade. Take a look at any utility blade and you'll see loads of lines across the blade. These not only make utility blades much more useful, but they also save you money. You can break off each line making a brand new sharp blade. This is super useful for all kinds of reasons, as it means you can cut whatever you want many times. Believe it or not, some people actually throw away old utility blades. That's because they think they're too blunt as they've been worn down. But really, they could just simply break off another blade and have a fresh new sharp blade. Remember this tip next time you're doing any DIY around the house. Next up is cap spikes. Now onto something you may never have noticed before. Have you ever been using a cream or ointment and noticed a small spike on the cap? What could this be? Did they just want to save money on plastic so they cheaped out on the lid? Well no, much like the indentations in bottles, this is actually to help you. While it may seem pointless, you're actually supposed to use the spike to pierce the foil under the lid. This allows you to easily get to what's inside without using a pen or a pin. Also, the lid spike is perfectly molded to the foil inside, so you can break all the foil instead of just a tiny bit. It. This is yet another useful thing companies do which people don't realize. They could really do with simply labeling this so people know how to use it. Next up is bobby pin. We all know bobby pins, whether we're male or female. They have a very distinctive look, with one bendy side and one straight side. But think about it, one side doesn't have to be bendy to use it, so why isn't it all straight? Well, it's very simple. The bendy area is designed to tell you where to place your bobby pin in your hair. You're supposed to make sure the curvy side is pointing towards your scalp, while the straight bit will keep your hair held in place. This is a handy tip which could help out a lot of people. Apparently, a big percentage of girls actually use bobby pins wrong. This is why you always see them falling out, because they aren't secure in your hair. So if you want to save a bunch of money on bobby pins and keep your hair looking good, then use the curvy side. What seems pointless is actually a pretty genius design. Next up is circle on front of phone. We all know the small black circle next to your phone's camera is a microphone, but what about the circle by the front phone camera? Nope, it's not a second camera. You won't always notice this, but if you use your phone in the dark, sometimes you can see it lights up red. There have been conspiracies saying it's recording your every move and sending it to the NSA. While other cameras on your phone may be doing that, this is not a camera. The little circle is actually saving you battery. Have you ever noticed when you're on a phone call and hold the phone up to your face, the screen goes black? This is because the proximity center on the front can sense you doing this and dims the brightness for you. This saves your battery and hides whoever you're talking to. So don't be paranoid and tape up this sensor, as it's actually very handy and innocent. Or at least, that's what they say. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the thing you didn't know the meaning of. I think it's the coins, because I always wondered about those. This video shoutout goes to the crafty on Instagram. Subscribe and turn on notifications and comment done for a shoutout in our next video. It's my new Instagram account I'm sure you guys are gonna love, so definitely follow at the.crafty. I'm playing a few videos on screen right now sped up and as you can see they are amazing. Seriously guys, some of the crafts are really cool and you can actually do them yourself at home. So if you have a second and have your phone with you, then go over to Instagram and follow the crafty. And guys, if you do, it will only take a second, but be sure to comment on one of the posts saying that you came from this video. That way, hopefully I can follow you guys back or maybe even shout you out if you want. So guys, if you want, so guys, if you want more amazing videos like we have on screen now, then follow the crafty on Instagram. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.